there. I thought I'd share with you my process for remaking this piece of art. I had made this floral a couple of years ago and at that point called it done and framed it but I never really felt like it was quite um, what it could be. So I decided to transform it into something else and the colors in it kind of made me think of flamingos. So I drew myself up a pattern here and drew a couple flamingo heads onto uh, the canvas. I've already done one to the right. Now I'm doing one to the left, so they're kind of facing each other. And then I'm going to paint the negative spaces and leave the floral as the flamingo. This is the process I use quite a bit, either initially in a piece or to transform a piece later, you know, to turn an old piece into something else. Um, because I, I like the history in the piece, the layers that have gone on before and to make use of those in um, making it into a brand new piece. So I'm using a matte acrylic now to paint around um, the flamingos. So to paint the negative spaces, everything that's not a flamingo. And I do end up adding some foliage in this uh, technique as well, just to break up some of the big blue space. I like matte acrylic because it's a little bit more opaque and it makes a nice uh, finish kind of contrasting the floral part on this is a little bit more glossy acrylic so the contrast between the flat uh, acrylic and the negative spaces and the little bit more um, shiny glossy uh, look of the acrylic in the what becomes the flamingos I, I like that contrast this particular matte acrylic that I'm using is by Blick. It's there, uh, comes in a little bottle, two ounce bottle, uh, and is very reasonable. I'm using a black Stabilo pencil to kind of sketch in my leaves, my foliage that I'm going to add in. Uh, I usually have to have a little bit of something to go by. I don't necessarily have to have drawn out everything in perfect detail. But it can be confusing when you're painting negative spaces, so having a little bit of a sketched in guide is helpful.
Here's the finished piece, which is sold, but my prints are available in my Etsy shop, and I'll leave a link down below. Thanks for watching.